Today's Sunshine No is titled, The Fanciest and Most Fabulous Sweet Sixteen Party Ever. Blessed is the one who will eat at the feast in the kingdom of God. Luke chapter 14 verse 15 Fancy Felicia fabulousness was indeed both fancy and fabulous. Yes, of course, Fancy Felicia fabulousness is a made-up character, but go with me on this anyway. For her 16th party, she wanted to have the fanciest and most fabulous sweet 16th party anyone had ever had. Her parents were loaded, not to mention equally obsessed with creating the fanciest and most fabulous party, so they offered Fancy Felicia Fabulousness $5 million for her party budget. Their daughter got right to work, planning every last detail. She arranged for all the winners of Top Chef to prepare her favorite foods. Also, she had all the winners from American Idol come to perform live. Finally, she added the final touches, a three-ring circus, a pool where guests could swim with dolphins, helicopter rides, hot air balloons, new iPads as party favors, and limo pickup service for all the guests. Obviously, Fancy Felicia Fabulousness planned on inviting only the cool kids, since they would be the only ones who would truly appreciate how great the party was. She was sure they would all drop their plans to be at what was considered the It Party of the Year. However, to her shock, people started making excuses one after another, all the cool kids blew her off. On the day of the party, there sat Fancy Felicia Fabulousness, surrounded by dolphins and hot air balloons, with no one coming to her stupendous party. Her father, enraged that there wasn't a single guest at her extravagant party, sent the butlers and maids out to invite bums off the street and homeless people from the local shelters. There would still be a party, but the guest would just be a different sort than originally invited. In Luke chapter 14 verses 15 through 23, Jesus told a similar story to describe God's kingdom. Christ explained that people are privileged to get an invitation to the kingdom. If they turn it down, they will miss out on an amazing opportunity. But even if people don't accept the invitation, Others will still be a part of the fancy, fabulous celebration. Why not accept the invitation and join the celebration? Live it out. Do you feel God asking you to give your heart to Him? Don't make any more excuses. Just accept the invitation and celebrate. Pray about it. Ask God to make you a part of His kingdom celebration. Blessed is the one who will eat at the feast in the kingdom of God. Luke chapter 14 verse 15. May God bless you today.